Okay, here we are in 11.0, Ambienta 2023. Got a very, very special guest here. I'm looking forward to going for a bit of a walk in this Harika area. So it's the hotelier, sort of, uh, sort of larger numbers of products being sold for a very, very important uh, hospitality group. And yeah, please introduce yourself and what are we going to see today? Yeah. My name is uh, Pierre Nierhaus. I'm an international trend expert for hospitality and lifestyle. I travel worldwide. Uh, Asia, Europe, United States, etc. to find new trends. I publish a trend report um, which is well known in the industry every year and I'm happy that uh, Ambiente is at my hometown and uh, uh, we have a hall especially for hospitality and I'm glad to show you around. I've found some very interest interesting things and uh, you will see. Let's go have a look. Let's go for a walk. So you're saying you're around this area, you were born in this area, obviously? Uh, no, I'm born close, okay. would you say Dusseldorf, but Frankfurt, I'm living here. And I was a restaurant owner in Frankfurt. I had 13 restaurants, 400 people working for me. So uh, I know what I'm talking about. Excellent, excellent. So what are we seeing here? It's 2023, it's been a different year the last couple of years. What's some of the bigger things you've seen and observed? We're going to look at some great stands in a moment. What have you observed for you personally? What's different this year? Um, after like two or three pandemic years, people want to enjoy restaurants again. And of course, um, we all think about sustainability, about natural food. We want to have a healthy, lucky, better life. We want to meet our friends. And um, as we've seen already five years ago, um, it is really important to have a good tabletop. People making photos, that's the marketing of everybody in, in this industry. And the most important thing is um, what you bring on your table. And here we can have a lot of good examples. And the first um, one is over here. Cerax is a, is, a, is a brand and it's got a, a quite a wide range, correct? And maybe I'm looking forward to seeing what you have to think about, what you have yeah. to say about it. It's, uh, it's really, I would say, an upscale brand. And what I really love is they always have good ideas. They find new trends in a somehow spec spectacular, but not too spectacular way. Um, for example, over here, we have uh, things um, connected to Otto Lenghi. And uh, with all the trends we have, we still have a med Mediterranean cuisine. Um, we still have Mediterranean cuisine, um, but of course we also look for the other side of the Mediterranean Sea. That means it's Jerusalem, it's Tel Aviv, uh, it's Syria, it's uh, Lebanon. And uh, I love this very, very colorful uh, China and uh, yeah, perhaps we can get some information about I, that. I'd like, I've actually got a, a specialist standing here as well. Please introduce yourself, sir. Great, we're really enjoying your stand. Say a few words about yourself and what we're, what we're seeing here. Hello, my name is Mark. I'm the country manager for uh, Germany, Austria and Switzerland for the Xerox company. Uh, we are a platform for design uh, designers eh, in table, t tableware collections and other things. And of course here with Otto Lenghi, everybody knows Otto Lenghi these days. Eh, is a very famous uh, chef yep. eh, with very famous books. As you told before, it's orientalic uh, cuisine. His, his idea of, of food sharing is in this collection very important. Eh? All together, uh, the, the name of the collection is Feasts. Oh, wow. And so to have a dinner with friends must to be a feast. Yep. Eh? And therefore we have a lot of big bowls and things like that where we, you can put his, his, his big salads uh, eh? in the middle of the table and with friends together, eh? nice sunshine. That's uh, Otto Lenghi. Eh? Awesome. So when people coming back together, celebrating food, the variations of food, you've got different forms, different sizes, and that's a through line through the entire portfolio, correct? Yeah. We have, as you can see here, Otto Lenghi, but we, ha we have a co cooperation with a lot of uh, designers in tableware. These designers can be like this here, uh, Sergio Herman, very famous uh, chef also in Europe. This, it is possible that it's an interior designer, eh? Or as over here, uh, Marie Michielsen, that's our, what shall I say, in-house designer in, eh, is uh, the wife of our CEO. She, has, she makes a lot of things for, uh, for Xerox. 
This collection is new. It's called La Mer. It's an, uh, an are you, how, how do you say it in English? It's, it's an, uh, a, a, also a family thing. Mm -hmm. yeah? We have it in three colors and it's all hand molded. Wow. And it's, it's, it's very, very organic very somehow. Organic, yeah. And it's, uh, I, I love these colors. That's, that's beautiful. Yeah. It's almost got some sort of, I, I look at the, the darker tones that the Japanese lack and this sort of, those really earthy oriental colors as yeah, well. Yeah, it's had a little Japanese touch. Huh? Yeah. And, and you have the feeling that this is made especially for you. You only you have this plate. Only you have have this uh, this you thing. Eh? Yeah, yeah. For example, uh, this one here. You see, it's not perfect. It's a little bit shabby. It's, it's yours, but it's yours. Eh? Specially made for you, and that gives the, your food, your dinner, something extra, eh? something special. Perfect. When you when you have guests and they, you serve something in a in a thing like this, they they start talking about it oh very nice look at this and and that's what food sharing should be eh? when you when you eat together eating is more than only eating these days i'm looking forward to my next feast thank you very much for your time we're going to keep cruising through thank you all the rest of the, all the best the rest of the show enjoy the ambiente thank, thank you. you so really i can understand why you picked that one again the contrast there yeah. from from simple white porcelain ceramics into quite unique one-off pieces yeah and one one of the trends we have is individualism because in this time where we sort of our life is so complex and people really love some individual things um, made for them unique and that is important and that is what i love I think you've got everything here. You've got Villeroy and Boch, the big guys, the sort of corporates, the ones that have been around for hundreds of years, and you've got the smaller companies, the startups, the artists. What are other, some of the trends you've noticed this time? Is there, is there sort of any, uh, I think we're walking towards a stand which yeah. you picked out. What, what, what's, what do these contrasts mean for the hotel business these, these days? I think it's, it's getting more colorful in, in general. And of course, a lot of hotel and restaurant owners found out how important it is. Um, to have Instagram marketing, TikTok marketing, but you cannot do that with boring tabletop. So speaking of boring tabletop, here's a contrast to some of the, 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 the materials we just see. What are we seeing here? Well, you picked out this, this company here, this Think Green stand, very green. What are, we, what are, you, what are your thoughts on this stand? Um, I mean, we do, we do not have classic China in our restaurants, but we also do have uh, takeaway. And sustainability is one of the main topics uh, we have in the world. And I mean, you see it over there, um, it's all started with the straws. Um, and uh, then, uh, yeah, let, let's have a look, that's, uh, that, that, that's really like a next generation. Um, if you see that over there, um, um, we have a lot of colors, it is fancy, um, it's, it's just beautiful and uh, we all want to enjoy our drink and we don't want, um, want, want to have a thing which really doesn't look very good. And, uh, so it's, it's the eye, it's the feeling in the mouth, it's the texture, it's also again uh, where it's come from, where it's going. Mm. Yes, of course it is, but let's have a look on, on, on these things here that's uh, made out of, I've forgotten. Sugarcane, I think I read before. Sugarcane? Sugar that's, that's, that's the owner over there. That is sugarcane, isn't yes, it? Sugar that, cane. that is sugarcane, yeah. So uh, um, it, it looks beautiful, it's light, but I think you cannot eat it at the end. Um, but that is a really new generation um, of uh, uh, takeaway. Um, uh, containers. And what I'm impressed with here, I mean, if you're looking at that from a distance, it looks like ceramics. It's got a very high yeah. level of aesthetic. Yeah. If I think of disposable goods the last 20, 30, 50 years, it's always looked cheap and almost tacky. Mm. This has got a high level of aesthetic the, yeah. the, the, that is coming with the material, yeah. but the design, the forms, the, the unique contours, it's, it's, it's certainly upping the game a little bit, isn't it? Yeah, it is. And uh, But I want to show you one more thing over there. Let's give the cameraman a challenge, uh, going back over this way. Give him a chance. <laughs> so, it is uh, made um, out of um, uh, palm bark, palm rinde, and uh, that is also one very, very sustainable product. And I also love how it looks like. It's uh, this one, this is out of coconut. So, you can use all the things in nature, and our guests really love that. Excellent.
So we've gone from ceramics to disposable cups and saucers, as well as literally cups made of coconut. If we walk this way, what, what's uh, when it comes to hotels and hoteliers, we're talking about hundreds, if not thousands, of people on a daily basis. So the the amount of um, utensils and cutlery and things needed is, 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 is a lot of pressure on, on these materials, correct? Um, yes, that's right, because um, it's, all, it's, it's always like if, if you have like ceramic or if you have china, it's, uh, it's the lifetime costs, um, you, 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 it has to fit in your dishwashers, etc. But for example, these reusable materials at the moment, they don't work in a dishwasher, so we have to have new dishwashers. So it's uh, incredible how many things uh, are changed in the moment yeah. um, and uh, that's really in our industry like a revolution inside it's not about completely new food it is about um, a revolution inside different materials sustainability digitalization etc etc well, so it's the innovation in the materials and the products that are being used mm -hmm. in the hotels and then it's the infrastructure around them so yes. new, as you said new dishwashers to wash certain materials it's yes, a very interesting course. fact yeah yeah. And what, what you pick this one here? It's, I think yeah. there's quite a contrast in this stand. We'll yeah. try and sneak over there. And there's a few too many people over there right now. Why did you pick this stand as something we should talk about? It's it looks like um, ceramic or china, and it is not. It is a very light material. It is. Um, I mean, we used to sort of play with our table and that is that all, all the little bowls and ingredients and we will see that here later uh, especially for restaurant and hotel people to um, design a buffet um, etc and even if you have a look over there it all looks like porcelain wow. And I guess that makes it more durable too. Though. I mean, if I think of a massive ceramic uh, installation in a buffet, the chance of something breaks is probably quite high. So like, I'd imagine this new material increases the durability, some durability of some of these objects. Yes, somehow it does, but also it is light because if you have that out of ceramic, it is really heavy. Then you fill it up. We need a lot of colors, we, which you can create with that material. Yeah. Um, perhaps we, we might also get the owner to explain a little bit about the material. Let's see if we can find him. I know he was around before. He, he was in a discussion before. There he is. Can we grab two minutes of your time? Sure. Good sir. Yeah. Ben Wilson from the yeah. Ambiente team. Nice, nice to meet you. Yeah. We're just looking at some of your new materials and the new material combinations. Yeah, and just sure. discussing about the, the weight of your materials, the durability of your materials. Yeah. Have you got a few words about some of the stuff we're seeing here this year? Yeah, okay. So um, aside from the bamboo, which we make in the UK, obviously you get the sheets uh, from, from the Far East, but we make it in the UK. What we try and focus on, on to add to the durability is the quality is always about the thickness of the product. And, and now with the new Euro European rules, the testing of it's a lot higher, so we have to conform to that. But when we sell something to a, a, a customer, we don't want it to come back to us, you know. And so our price, our price point, we're not a cheap, but we're not also expensive. But we're just a quality a reassured product. Um, and that, so you, you feel on the density of that. Oh wow! Can I give you the mic? <laughs> I'll interview you now. Please. Hi. Yes. I. I... And so it's also. What sort of material is it? This is melamine. Melamine, okay. So it's with that, incredible durable material. But not only that, we design it as well. So it's a double functioning product. So it's not just about just being a vessel. You can turn it the other way around. It's a stand. Yeah, and then they all work together. Just right and then we're manufacturing the lids to go with it as well. And then coming across the, you've got buffet wear, which needs durability, but table wear really is for fast paced casual dining environments. You're talking about people that you're sitting down and you're not really touching the tableware but you have to be in and out within 15 20 minutes so you want something that is you know stands the test of time yep. so from an operator's perspective you don't have to worry about the chip so it's when other materials like say ceramic or something the chip the product still gets used on like a multi-level environment whereas this if it breaks it's into big pieces so. And, and, and one more thing, I really love that um, over here that's called Hoxton, that is for food to go. I mean, we have so many reusable um, containers which are ugly, but this is really beautiful. I mean, if you uh, buy food with that, of course, 
you can eat from the other plate and that's and that's really nice um, and I think in future if you take um, if you think about um, takeaway it should look like this and uh, that is what people love and pay a high price and that not only for the cheap material which uh, degrades the food. It's lovely to see that the idea of what I call good design, the idea of things being minimal, designed for a specific function, you guys have taken that to the next level with new materials in the hotelier experience yeah. and calling that a takeaway box is actually quite comical because it's very, very beautiful. Yeah. It looks like something Conrad design, should be in a manufacturing, the high-end sort of yeah. designer store, but in actual fact there's probably going to be hundreds of thousands of those and they're for everyday use, which is a brilliant thing. Well, the, the single-use topics are a huge one in England at the minute and the one that we're really excited about if I can, is we've got this com uh, concept called Hue, and this gets rid of all single use in like business and industry, contract catering, and education. And so you've got a melamine base product, mm -hmm. and we call it a closed loop system. So this replaces your cardboard, your plastic, single throwaway prop product, which operators are basically giving you the product and saying it's your problem, you get yeah, rid of it. Exactly. This stays in the building. You've got a sauce pot that sits on the underside Lovely. of the lid. So from an operator's perspective, the product stays within that environment. Cool. So very, very cool. We've designed this and we're very excited about it. Well, I look forward to my next stay in the hotel. I'll hopefully see one of those one day in the next <laughs> hotel I stay. Okay. Thank you very much for your time, yeah? Thanks very much, yeah. So again, look at the contrast, some ceramic designed to last and be a high-end feast experience, the takeaway, throwaway, biodegradable straws. And these guys innovating in how takeaway experiences in hotels can be in the future. That's quite quite contrast. Yes, it is. But um, every company, I mean, we've seen two smaller companies. They are, of course, innovative. But the next one we are visiting is BHS, um, a classic company with Bauscher Schönwald, a German company. But also they change um, uh, their products, they're getting very modern, they have um, a different series called Playground which fits to the normal uh, China and upgrades it. For example, this is uh, Beautiful. the mat material here. So that is, it, it feels like stone but it still works very, 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 very well with food and the outside is very, very net natural. And uh, What is it for material? Is it actually ceramics? We have to ask. Can we find someone to ask? That's a good, a good challenge always. Then when we walk past before, I noticed these ones are terracotta, and the idea of terracotta in the in the, in the dining room, also innovative, yeah. Like if I look at these materials compared to the white goods and the, the, the yeah, traditional yeah, ones, this yeah, is terracotta, very yeah. Spanish feeling, this, no? This this is what they call playground. So that is like in between the, the normal china they have. It is to upgrade your table. Of course, you can serve food, but you also can serve special ingredients, etc. Let's go and check it out on the wall here as well. You sh we we uh, we've got a lot to see in this area. What, I, what caught my eye was this little little dish set here before, where you've got the sort of system of system of, of, of being able to align things and sort of position over the little groove. Nice little details and and and, and very. They seem to work with new materials this year. Mm. Yes, it's also a nice, a good chance to combine things. But um, for example, if you have um, like classic china, combining it with that, everybody knows um, uh, it's state of the art. If you don't. Um, interact with different styles, it gets boring, and that's why I love it. Excellent. We've actually found someone who might be able to say a few things to the materials. Hello, Ben from Ambienta. We're here doing a bit of a, uh, a guided tour with a trend god specialist. Yeah. We were wondering about the types of materials. Is it all ceramics, or what type of materials are you guys working with? Um, here uh, at this stand we have ceramics. It's the stoneware, um, but when you look at other parts of the stand, we work with different kinds of materials. So we have hard porcelain, we have a vitreous china, we have a stoneware. Mm -hmm. So uh, our market approach and customer approach is that we want to offer different materials for different needs. Um, and the different materials give us different capacities in design and, and shapes and also in color. And this, this year, sorry, please. One thing, you always switch between classic, uh, what you did with uh, Bauscher and Schönwald before, and um, quite modern design or this playground design and what I love is coming back to uh, colors we had before this sort of rosé that looks very royal I would say but the material is really yeah 
it, 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 it feels like handcrafted. There's lots of contrast, as I mentioned before. What's different for you this year, 2023? What's what's the feeling of this year compared to the other years? What's 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 a bit of a perspective looking forward? Um, our feeling is, in, in the past, there was always one obvious trend. So it was white, or it was embossed, or it was color. And what we see um, for last year and also for this year, that there's many trends uh, going hand in hand. So there's customers out there who, who now prefer white or embossed. So let's say they're they had enough of color, um, so we have uh, something to offer for them as well. But at the same time, we see that the color trend is still going on, uh, as Mr. Niehaus already said. And we're trying to come up with different colors, uh, let's say very strong colors like here, but also more softer versions, uh, which are uh, slightly lighter. Brilliant. Well, thank you very much for your time. We're going to continue our little walk. Thanks for coming by. I think we'll see you soon. Bye. See you. Bye. So as we walk sort of through, I and mean, that, that's been a really, for me, a very, very trend variations, I'd say, in, 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 in one hall. So hall 11.0. And any like, closing words for people coming to visit? Obviously, you're an expert. Uh, for those that are coming to, to Ambienta for the first time, any thoughts of what they sh how they should move through this space and, and, and the Ambienta in general? Yeah, I, I, first of all, I would say take time uh, that you really feel the Im impression and the emotion which is going on here sometimes i see typical uh, visitor with 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 a box with a lot of paper running from one appointment to the other you have to get inspired here i think that is really important and you have to feel the new trends talk with people and take your time don't rush and uh, if you don't have uh, that much time i mean uh, it is now um, like three fairs together. Um, go to the uh, hospitality hall, um, to the Horeca hall, and here is a lot to see, and that give is, is giving you a lot of really good impre impressions on trend. And then you go to business as usual. Okay, thank you very much. Vielen Dank für deine Zeit. I, I'm, I'm going to go for a bit of a walk and show one other little area over here, and we'll see you uh, see you around. Thank you. So there you go. As he, as he said choosing where you want to go, finding the things that are in your area of interest, um, also making sure you're checking out some of the pages like uh, Twitter, Ambiento Twitter, uh, the Instagram page, LinkedIn, because you'll find things like the Horeca Academy when there's talks going on. We've got a talk going on right now behind these uh, these these big big uh, uh, fan, what are these things called? Flags. Um, and here you've got variations between trend talks, theory talks, design, uh, interior design trends. Um, there was a guy before talking about sort of greenwashing, the idea of greenwashing, where was it, where is it today and where is it going. So very, very broad topics. So come down, check it out and uh, enjoy the rest of the day.